So, go on. Try it yourself. Eivor. Come. Stand here and look out over the fjords. Hold my hand. There you go. I've never been so high. <laughs> Your father brought me here long ago. When we were just 19 winters. Together we stacked stones into cairns. These? Yes. Think of this as a test of mind and wit. Stack the cairn stones high and wide into any shape you like. How do I win? You win by playing. And a quiet mind is your reward. Let the air and nature's beauty soothe you. Survey the area soon. <laughs> this area is off limits.
ever. Just like you, brother. Wait and see. I will shoot that elk in the eye. Oh, word the waves. Good stranger. Thank you for your help. I heard what happened. We are just about to set off on our grand hunt for the fearsome beast. If the thirst of the hunt itches your throat, will you join us? Frey. What? What? No. No! Is that... He is in the halls now. I... I am sorry, Frey. He died by prey, but he will rest a hunter. Into the unknown we go. Join us, kinsmen. This beast bested us last time. We should be on our guard. <laughs> There is no mistaking it. It came from the same creature that attacked us. Ah, oh, what a beast we felled! You show true grit out there. Thank you for joining our hunt. Predator or prey, you are what you choose to do.
No need to hide now, Olaf. Gorm is dead. Gorm? Dead? <laughs> By your hand? He paid a bloody price for broken honor. I will not say more. Return to your sister. Oh, I will. Yet I would first join the villagers at their fire. They tell stories and I like to listen. Though I do not hear. Story time? Telling sagas of their own? Yes, yes! They tell stories. Yes, come, listen. Zokki, rarondo de wasago horori ne yotzi zizu, waharu how toyedene zinu ero discarda gete junk quiro taguani dehni zaruki totni dagwe ya dehni ganare ziosumaya danu akwegu. Gasuma Hunzi Yotzi Zizu Yagoda Denequa the Wagu Danu Rarondo de Yesunne Yerde de Zokki, o sumagu, ya untke doda, ahyarek, dogatka negre. Tunda ya wasi, rarondo de, ya sagorege. O sumagu, ya eant da ne, ne yot di zizu. Zi wa agoyant da haje, wa e na hadu, zi na hoda wa egweni. Niat de gahderege. Ya ehoe, zi ya eant that ne, zi de jutsu wagered us. God's gone, Naraga. Dog will go to do us. I do not understand. Ah, oh, oh, you want me to tell a story? All right, let me think. A story of betrayal, of selfish malice, and of gods who act as spoiled children. Of all our many gods, it is Odin who is the most revered. He is the All-Father, the High One, the Wise King. But for all his glories, he can also be the most elusive of his kind. Selfish, solitary, stubborn, even cruel. In days long gone, it came to pass that Odin's son Balder died suddenly. Felt by his only weakness, mistletoe. Believing his son's death an accident, Odin sent a message to the Jotun, Hel, asking her to return his beautiful boy to life. Hel agreed, but on one condition. Only if every living creature in the Nine Worlds shed a loving tear for Balder. At once, Odin sent word to every corner of the world, asking all to weep for his beloved boy. And all did. But one. A Jotun named Thok refused to cry for Balder. Let Hel keep what she has received, Thok said with malice. And that was that. Balder was gone forever. Send on a funeral ship across the sea, buried in Midgadir, amid trees and rocks. What Odin did not know is that Thok was none other than the trickster Loki in disguise. 
A god. He knew as a friend. Worse still, it was Loki who led Baldur to his death by a sprig of mistletoe. All these tricks and feints Loki had conceived. Some say it was in Loki's nature to be so cruel. Others argue it was revenge for deeds done by Odin to Loki and his children. There is a third view, that all these acts, kind and cruel, were sown long ago in the pattern of their lives. That we are not the authors of our own destiny, but only its readers. And that we... Oh. <laughs> that we should fight against this view, for it is deeply unwelcome. Anguagara do has say ne at no water raugara. Nene o niot ti what had that no yake. Gorum brought this stone across the whale road for a strange purpose. I do not know why, but it seems to belong to this land. Yos gods. Gwa ras nu sage what neat dahare. Dagwa weird at go? Take it and guard it. May be that one day you will know its purpose. Thank you. Each of you. For all you have done. Aya Watski. Yeti sot hogungaha. Ayeza haharahta. Gahnaraga. Making the voyage. Now I can make his act down among me. No word from Gorba. Yara of Jorvik. You shirked your work for quite some time. Yara is no more. My name is Eivor, a Drenger of the Raven Clan. And my purpose is fulfilled. Purpose? <laughs> what purpose? Gorm is dead! The troll is dead! Olaf. Sister, let us celebrate. Gorm Kötveson is no more. Slain by Eivor Ravenfriend. Eivor Forest Rider. Eivor Olaver Saver. What is this? I had a long standing blood feud with Gorm and his clan. It is now laid to rest. Oh, the skulls will sing of this day. How Eivor traveled far and wide, hunting Gorm along the world's rim. Songs or not, Gorm is dead. Now I suggest you leave this place. There is no purpose for us here. I... I do not disagree. Gorm was a madman and a troll indeed. But he paid us in silver and that was enough. Brother, are you well? I feared the worst for you. I am well, yes, oh, so well. And I may stay, to linger one season or two, with the friends I have made. As you wish, brother. And you, Eivor, where will you go? Across the sea with us, or back into the woods? I will sail with you. Let's go. Take care of yourself, Olaf, in this life and the next. Goodbye. Goodbye. Far went the whale road before me. Dark are the deeds that brought me here. 
Fate may bind my bones to this land. But for now, I walk the sea. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. away for so long were you worried of course I was such a long voyage did you do what had to be done I did and I'm eager to focus on problems closer to home good it is done Gorm is dead the Kjotveson clan is wiped from this world good I would like to hear everything about your journey to Vinland when you have time one day Between you and me, Aver, always thought you'd be a good job. About you and Bridget, when do you wish to be wed? The sooner I can make her my wife, the happier I will be. But we are fine to wait until everything has settled here. Enough waiting. Cool your forge and cover your anvil. Let's get you married. Wonderful. Shall we gather everyone? Gather your wife and your courage. I'll bring the people together. I am honored to stand before you, Gunnar, Bridget, on this bountiful day, to celebrate the strength of your bond and see you wed. I am in witness of a love that inspires and empowers. I invite you now to speak your vows. To you, my darling Bridget, I offer this blade, forged in flames that burn as brightly as my heart does for you. A blade as sharp as your wit, as glinting as your beauty. May it sing through the air as sweetly as your voice meets my ears. Dio, see you did carry Tsigana. To never am Lucas, would it be the daughter he to tea and Harriet? And I, you, I give you my sword and my promise that I will stand at your side forever. Heed for the prodigy and future and heen, at the sword, tawaloch, and hope, a premonition. 
on the mount of scrying a foresight paratoivi sweeping adventure meeting to. Tiur enaid val de marash, a dean as strong aburatiki, a quell as he fears, but kalon and head van durati. Such poetry, oh dear. You make me cry, my love. Let us head for Evan Gillian, Trebowid and beyond. I offer you this ring. And take yours in kind. I will wear it with pride and honor, warmed by the love of so perfect a lady. And I quisk of a Valkalon adoration of feed and myth. This is the greatest day of my life. Embrace me, my love. With our couple now bonded in matrimony, now we drink. Ranvi, saw you looking a little lonely. Thought I might come and join you. How nice. Are you enjoying yourself? I am. I never thought I would see gruff old Gunner so enraptured by a woman. Enraptured by anything, for that matter. He's a hard one to read, but I am pleased for him, and for this day of rest and respite. After everything, a few days of feasting will do the people some good. They need this. They do. Will you walk with me? Anywhere. Lead on. Something has been on my mind for some time. I am no seer, but I foresaw this day long ago. Not Gunnar's marriage, but our situation. Our success. How do you mean, our success? I mean to say that I saw our settlement flourishing, through our victories in war and in diplomacy. And from the day we set out from Norway, I knew that you would make a fitter leader than Sigurd. It was never in his character to lead. It was always within yours. I see. Do you? You might have warned me. You would not have listened. Fair. I do hope you see it now, in all that you have done for us. Ranvi, you and the people here have done more for me than I could ever repay. I am honored by your faith in me, and your confidence. As I am honored by your love. And I by yours. Eivor, I want you to know that Sigurd and I are... We are severing the bonds of our marriage. We share a love that is steadfast, and I have faith it will forever be so, but my heart is yours. That much he knows. And I believe he is happy for us. Are you sure? Sigurd's desires are bigger than any man or woman can offer. He longs for something more, something only he can find. All he wants is far, far away. All I need is right here. Shall we find our way back to the wedding? Bridget might give another speech. We must not miss that. About that, I have not understood a single word of hers since Gloucestershire. Really? I find she speaks beautifully. With poetry, even. Are you kidding? Am I? Come, we should go.
I should go. need to cloak myself here. Hmm. <gasps> 